info is stopped. Right, so to switch it on, you just press the button on twice, twice yeah? Twice, yeah. So I want you to change your temperature now. So if you press the arrow right. That one. That's it. Oh, yeah. So, so I want you to, that, that oh. icon there needs to be, see that icon there? That one, yeah. Yeah, that's your, if you imagine that's your thermostat, your thermometer. So you press your arrow left again oh. to, until that one's until that one's flashing. Press it again. Press it again. Right, so you, you, that's flash, that, that yeah, thermometer's forgot, yeah. flashing. You can now change your temperature With up that one down. and that one. Yeah, so plus. So you increase that's that increase, maximum 30 yeah, or yeah. you can drop it down. Okay? Yeah. Right, you happy with that? I think so, yeah. Yeah. So the next one is just water boost. So you don't, you're probably like unlikely to use that, but if it's there if you want it. So if you, do you want to switch, you know, if you want to switch the gas on or off now? Not a clue, that one is Yeah, it's not, no, press, press your arrow right now. I want to, you've got to get that flashing there now. So press your arrow right until that's flashing. Right. Yeah. That little flame flashing now. Yeah. Gas is on. Yeah. If you, to switch it off, switch off. So you press the off button. So that's gas off. Yeah. Okay, to switch it on, you just press, press switch on. It's on the top one. Oh, That's yeah. It. it says on. That's it. So then it says gas on. Okay? Yeah. To the electric, push, push the arrow right. Oh, yeah. That's it. Yeah. So that's electric, now yeah. flashing. Now I can change yeah. the electric if I want to switch the electric off. Or I want to drop it down, say, one kilowatt or two kilowatt. Yeah. So you've got them options. All right? I think so. Yeah? Sure? No. No. <laughs> we'll just pre just press the arrow, arrow left now. You'll all, fiddle when we get in it. Press it all the way back. All the way back. Till the, the thermostat's back. going. And click and let. That's it. Right, so That's the, the screen's still on. All right, it's showing you now I've got a gas on and I've got two kilowatts of electric. The heating's on because that's still that's yeah, circulating. Yeah, yeah. Okay. If you want to change it again, you press that right arrow. It lights up everything across that top line now. Eh? Yeah. So now, if I want the electric on, it's just. Yeah, so that's until it flashes, yeah? Yeah, so until. Then until up, then up and down. Yeah, so until. If you want the electric, it's that one. Yeah, that's your temperature. That's temperature, yeah. yeah so, so if I go across to the electric, yeah, which is that one, yeah. Yeah, that's electric. And then, so yeah, so we said two two kilowatts. So all you can do it from there is just reduce it down off your minus minus. So that's one kilowatt. Next one down's off. Off. Yeah. Just the two kilowatts. So yeah. So, so that's all you got. Back two kilowatts. The two kilowatts. So we'll yeah. go back up to there. Okay. So when you finish playing with that, if you want to ch just change the temperature again. So if you increase it, if you can just increase the temperature for me. It. Yeah. It's easier. Yeah. Once, once you play, once you newer version is a bit easier, to be quite honest. But it is, it is tricky to compare to the old fire. Where you just put it onto two kilowatt and turn it up, and that's it. Our oh, fan on. Right. You've got it on, set on gas. Set it on electric. If I switch it off now, you have to switch it off. It's off, so that stuff comes on off. And then yeah. you just turn press button there. It switches it off. Okay. That's it, off. Yeah, that's off now. If I press on twice. It's, it's remembered that that's what you had on. So if you leave it like that, so you'll see it off, then press arrow left. That's it, that's off. And it's telling you off. Yeah. Okay. On, it's on. On, press two. Twice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that's, that's on. on then, and you just. If I go there. You can do your temperature. The temperature. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's just boost if you want to just boost the water for temperature for half an hour. So if I wanted that, I'll just press on, would I? Yeah, just press on. And that will boot the booster. Yeah. yeah, so that'll concentrate all the heat on hot water for half an hour and then. So we're doing, if I want that off, the gas. Yeah, just switch off. Just to the sign there. Yeah, just switch off. That's it. That's the gas I heard. That's, click. Yeah, that's, that's your boiler just clicking off as well. So, so yeah, yeah, that's off. That's still flashing though. Yeah, that's still flashing because you can still change whatever setting with it. So it's still, if I come back now to like the screen's, the screen's gone asleep now, but it's still on. Yeah. You see the little flames gone now. Yes, yeah, gone. Yeah. We're not operating on gas as well now. So all we've got is two kilowatt. Yeah. That'll be would that so yeah, that'll be sufficient when it's without the gas. It it, it will warm it will warm it up. The electric, come on. In the winter when it's really cold. Is it gonna use gas, gas, you know what I mean? Loads. No, it shouldn't use loads, because as I said, it will use both energies to get up to temp. Once it's up to temperature, it'll just continue on the electric alone. So as long as you don't use all the hot water or leave the door open for a long period of time so the temperature drops, mm. it shouldn't. the gas will only come on when it really needs to. So it'll run on electric. That's fair enough. But as I said, electric, two kilowatt on its own to heat, especially when you first start up, trying to heat the 10 litres of cold water and the room, it might take a while to get that heat, that warmth up. 
Okay. But yeah. if you're going to use it mainly summer, two what kilowatts should be. Here, no? What am I doing here? Oh, you've gone further past. Right. So obviously your fridge is running on gas at the moment. Blue light on there says it's on. Yeah. That there is the on off button there. So press and hold that and it switches it on or off. This little tiny one there. Yeah. Left one. That will uh, change the energy you're using. So it's running on gas at the moment. If I press the button, that's now running on electric. That's what I'll need. Yeah. So you'll be on electric most of the time. Yeah. Yeah. You can run it on 12 volts when it's connected to the car and it's running off the car. It won't cool the fridge down. But like, if you're on seasonal pitch, you're, you're unlikely to use that. So it's like, it's tired, your, your options are either electric or gas. Electric. electric. Yeah. Okay, with the gas, well, I'll just go back to that just to show you what, if you do end, end up trying to a light on gas. Right, with the, it's on 12 volts at the moment, or no, it's not on 12 volts. 12 volts on at the moment. It's only if you're connected to the car and the engine's running. That is showing a blue light flashing. And you can see that it's also got a spanner there. So that means it's, it's, it's detected something. Okay. The reason why it's doing that at the moment is because the car's not connected, the engine's not running. If that does it on the gas, because when you put put it onto gas, it will auto light. If it fails to light, blue light comes on and a spanner comes into that screen there to say it hasn't lit. Mm. Okay. If it hasn't lit, there's usually reasons for either one, you haven't turned your gas on, uh -huh. or you haven't got any gas, or there's air in the system. If you, like most people, I'm the same, I tend to use it on electric all the time. Electric that well. Yeah. Um, you've got, you've got every now and again, just try, just fire it up on gas because the, the burner oh, doesn't right. like it. If you leave it for a long period of time, it may struggle to light. And what happens, it gets air in the system. So if it fails like that on the gas, so you see the blue light on that, yeah. switch it off, check them different things, fire your cooker, make sure you've got yeah. gas, then get leave your, and start it again. It will then re-attempt to light it. Again, if you haven't lit it for a while, it may take two or three attempts to light. So what it's doing is actually purging the air out of the system. Okay, yeah, until it yeah. gets the gas. Okay? Yeah. So what, what I'll do, I'll put it back onto electric. Yeah. It will remember that, so when you switch it off, so you just press and hold to switch it off, when you when you start it back up again, it will remember it was running on the electric, electric and it will start up, obviously, as long as electric connected out. So. Yeah. Okay, this side of it is your temperature range. Okay, all five lit, that's the coldest your fridge is going to yeah, be. Yeah. So all you do is just depend on the temperature outside, obviously. Okay, two fridges around about average. Okay, inside your fridge, you've got this little tab here. And that's there. Now that's actually for when you're in storage. Yeah. Or you're not using it and allowed to air circulate. Oh, that's good. Okay. Obviously, uh, yeah. There. Individual gas supplies taps down here. The envelope there to say what they're connected to. You don't need to turn them on or off. Obviously, the main one is on top of your cylinder. So obviously, if you, especially if you're going to move it. Okay. And then your draining boards there, chopping boards up there at the moment. Okay. Cooker. 12 volt igniter there. You have also got an electric uh, ring there. Okay, Taz got a safety cut off. Yeah. Okay, obviously you wouldn't normally do that. Um just make sure that it is fully back before you use it. It may mm -hmm. not allow yeah, you to light it. Yeah. Okay. Your grill. Your grill pan inside and handle inside that. Okay? Yeah. So your grill, your grill pan handles in there yeah. and oven. Yeah. Does that grill pan need to be moved while we're towing it? Moved out? No, I, I tend to I tend to drive with it in. Do you? Yeah. Well, look, it's kind of an always in this Oh, the people take them. Sure, everyone. Quick start, goes up in 30 second increments, starts automatically. Or hit the power button. So that's percentage 100%, 50%, whatever you want to fire it on, normally 100%. Then turn that, does your seconds. Okay? Yeah. Press start where it goes. Sort of sound on yeah, so press. Oh, that's if you want to do operate the seconds, you press power button once, just turn. Then okay? start. And then start. Don't ask me why they're so complicated, but. The one at home is, we've had a new one and yeah. I can't stand it's it. Like, why do they have to be so neat to top it? You may need to at some point, but it's what happens as it warms up, it will expand into that tank. So as long as you make sure it's above the minimum mark when it's cold when you first start, okay, you may need to top it up if it isn't, obviously. It has got an antifreeze mix in there. So you don't need to drain it for winter. Okay, so it obviously it's similar to your car system, but not. Um, make sure you put, if you do need to top it up, you put the correct stuff in. Okay, we've had somebody who's put, some customers put the wrong stuff in and it's gone really thick and they've had to flush the whole system out. So it's obviously going to cost a lot of money to get it flushed out and redone. To do that, or to top it up, all you do is just take that plastic cover comes off and just unscrew the pump out the top and top it up. In an emergency, you can uh, top it up with water, but what you've got to remember is that oh, the okay. antifreeze has got an inhibitor in it which stops the um, system uh, getting rusty. Is that just normal car antifreeze? No. I, I'd, I'd check before, I wouldn't, 
It may be, it may not. It, there's, there's two different types of it that is used for it. It may be the same, I don't know. But make sure you are putting the correct stuff in. Just ring, mm. just ring service or whatever if you are going to top it up. Yeah. Say, is this the correct stuff? Because I wouldn't want you putting the wrong stuff in and then end and up with the, something not doing any good. And the, okay. the aerial's the same. Just the same yeah, so we've got a directional aerial. Amplifier across that side. Yeah, so happy with them, yeah. Your toilet, electric flush. You had that on your last one.